Morning, Kelly. A good morning. You know, this just sounds like so much fun. Lloyd, thank you for joining us. It sounds like an exciting festival. This is now year two. So you got one year under your belt. Now on to the next. What can people expect? Well, we're going to be bigger. We had a free concert in the park last year that involved a lot of bands and local vendors, and we kind of created our own party. This year, we're going to have the free concert in the park again, but then we're going to open up new clubs and introduce new clubs to people you know, that are just opening in Pioneer Square. So it's really exciting to be you know, kind of christening the clubs oh, with the I Pioneer like Square it. Fest. You know? I like it. That sounds like fun. You mentioned some of the concerts, some of the music here. It sounds like you guys have a great lineup of artists. Who are some of those artists, and um, how excited are people to be featured in this festival? It's great, right? Like, so we have Tessa Talks and Shana Shepard. And, you know, Shana, she's like a bright light in the music community. So to have her <laughs> and Guy Keltner, who's from Acid Tongue, and uh, he's also one of the founders of Freak Out Fest, to have him join is really exciting and validating. Flesh Produce uh, is another great local band. These kids, Mid Pack, are going to come and tear it up. They played last year, too. And they were really one of the reasons I wanted to do it in the first place, you know? Because, like, they'd been playing in like the whole pandemic in their yeah. basements and just wanted a place. So like, well, we got space, you yeah. know, let's come to Pioneer Square. So, <laughs> so was a lot of this kind of your brainchild? Yeah, yeah, like during the pandemic, it was really clear that nothing was gonna happen unless we were gonna make it happen. Mm -hmm. Like there was no, there's no Pioneer Square days or there's no Pioneer Square block party. So I was like, well, we could do that. You know, <laughs> so I started <laughs> asking around. And, Cause I'm just a developer, like a programmer that work down there until yeah. they went virtual. I was like, I'm not leaving. Like, if we left it, it would, you know, we can't complain about how it's used if we don't use it, you know? Exactly. So we could actively use in Pioneer Square for what it's meant for. Yeah, I guess if you got to look for a bright spot for people during the pandemic, it gave them time to think about what do we want to do with our opportunities that yeah. we have in front of us. It sounds like you've been able to do that. Okay, so we've touched on the music. Uh -huh. What else can people expect at the festival? Well, we're doing something fun. Uh, we're selling wristbands, right? Okay. So the, the big part in the park is free, but we want to encourage people to get out in the neighborhood and try a bunch of the new restaurants there. Mm -hmm. So we're selling the wristbands. They're only 30 bucks, 20 if you take the Orca down. as kind of a call out. like. All the roads lead to Pioneer Square. You don't have to take your car. Just hop on a bus and it'll bring you there. Trust, trust me. Right, so come for 20 bucks and then go to all the restaurants and just say, hey, what do I get? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, what are you having for Pioneer Square Fest? You know, and like Nermals is given I was 10 or 20 percent off. Locust Wines is running specials and they all have patios. Oh, nice. And it's going to be summer. So, like, <laughs> Come see, you know, and like we want you to try every new space yeah. there, right? Because there's there's a scene waiting to happen, and it's Seattle's third place when you think about it. It's everybody's downtown, you know. Every, you know, it's everybody's neighborhood because it's all voluntary, you know. So yeah, ticket. You know? Yeah, so it's, it's so this is something you've been working on for a while. Oh, yeah. Sounds like there's a lot going into it. What would you say is the most exciting part? Maybe either for you or or for someone who comes to attend. For me, well, and for a lot of us, it's the confluence of events, right? It's also the weekend that the Mariners play the Blue Jays. Mm. That and always brings a crowd. It brings a crowd. <laughs> and, you know, last year when the MLB came, we missed out on all the programming. Mm -hmm. There was no programming in Pioneer Square, even though we're right next to the, you know, the mm -hmm. stadiums. And I tried, but the parks were locked up, you know, like mm -hmm. you couldn't use them. So I'm like, all right, fine. Well, this is pretty big day, right? It's a doubleheader series, and people are coming from all over you know, I say all over the world, North America, at least, you know, yeah. down from Canada. And the other morning I sold 14 wristbands in one order, well, right? Because they're road tripping down <laughs> and looking for something to do. And we've created this value proposition to stay in Pioneer Square all weekend. Yeah. Right? Like, why go anywhere else? You know, like, people just go past it to the stadiums. Well, it's know? like one-stop one, one stop shopping. You got the game, you got the whole festival. What more could you ask exactly. for? Exactly. So, okay, we've got this here, and it seems like it has pretty much all the information that everyone we need to know on, on one little thing. What can you tell us about what's on here? So, a uh, bunch of great sponsors and just, like, supporters. Okay. Uh, Rubicon Point Partners is my building owner, and they're big. <laughs> it's really great to have the property owners back this because it's really... Yeah. It's their skin in the game, right? So, they, them and Martin Smith are on here. Fat Shack, uh, Converge Media. Okay. Um, Drunken Pizza and Poku, Central Saloon, 
uh, Bon Voyage Vintage, Bobby Yaga. I should call out, so there's new clubs opening. Bobby Yaga is a brand new rock club in the old, uh, I think it was called The Last Supper. Most yes. recently it was yeah. called The Box House. Okay. It's so cool. It's okay. got this kind of like speakeasy underground. Well, you've just made our list longer that we need to do this weekend. Everyone's got to go check it out. Yeah. Lloyd, thank you so much for your time and all the work clearly you've put into pulling this off. Thanks. <laughs> Tyra, I'll send it back to you. Yeah, Pioneer Square is such a special neighborhood. It's one of my favorites, and I love a good speakeasy. Yeah. There you go. Well, this is your spot. Got to check it out. Well, Pioneer <laughs> Square Fest is July 5th.